when it's cart. Um, so I don't. I'm not very good at chess, but there's a way to play chess that's very aggressive, where you let your queen out, and then you you try to checkmate as fast as possible. Um, I'm advocating for that policy and our policy making from here on out in my made up government that exists of whoever still watches these videos and myself. Um, what I'm, <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is I have a way to checkmate the patriarchy and I just need you to need you to hold on for a second and then you can maybe help me checkmate the patriarchy and when I say checkmate the patriarchy I mean the patriarchy eventually disappears wherein there's no remnants left and it's not just people being nice and giving up their seats of power you know the, like the ladder they want us to climb that ladder is actually um, just a ladder that's a portal that takes you into being a cishet white man. And then, like, the further up on the ladder, you just adapt their mannerisms and you basically just become a cishet white man in their body, which is why uh, people that speak African American vernacular English have to speak, have to code shift in order to climb the ladder. I don't code shift. I don't really know how my ladder climbing's going. I don't I don't really give a shit because I'm gonna speak Kurtlish and that's because I don't wanna speak your cis supremacist bull I don't wanna climb that ladder. I'm not becoming you. I'm becoming me. That's why when people are like trans people just wanna be cis people. I'm like, no, I don't wanna be cis man, I am trans man, fucker. I don't wanna be a cis man. It's literally impossible. One and then two, like cis men don't have the best reputation right now, especially white cis men. I don't want to be that. I'm not. I'm not owning that. That's not my identity. My identity is so much more than that bullshit. I'm not playing like a cracker. I'm just. I'm. I'm more blue and pink than that. You know, but pink's my favorite color and I'm very happy that it's on my pride class flag my second favorite p color is blue i'm not making this shit up it's been that way since my birth i hated the rainbow flag so when i identified as a lesbian i eventually came to love it but i don't i i love my flag now much more than my old flag but other people hate my flag now much more than my old flag so i don't really know how to feel about that where am i trying to get at it's something to do with abortion abortion's coming soon Oh, checkmate the patriarchy. That's what I started with this time. Because everyone's heard the abortion bullshit all week because they're trying to debate if it's legal, which isn't even a logical debate. They're debating... Uh, insanity. It's fine. Um. Quick note on abortion before I go further. If you're arguing with someone that is pro-life, and agree thinks that trans people exist i really think you're gonna have a tough time finding that like venn diagram that little i don't think you're gonna find it but if you find it um you should just say well if i understand that you want to save people's lives and like a baby is a life but um not really but we can say that and also, why are you guys so obsessed with death? I've gone over this multiple times. It's just, like, really weird. You know, if you die, maybe you just get reincarnated. I don't believe in individual reincarnation of souls, but I believe in just one soul being reincarnated. So if you have a better chance of producing a godhead that is in a better situation in life, then that makes sense and if you have a chance of producing a child that's just going to suffer their entire life you shouldn't have it because it adds more suffering to like the pit and then there's people that are like depressed and then their depression causes more depression and there's people that are assholes because they're just unhappy with their life we don't need that the less of that we create the better off we are this wasn't the argument 
this was Kurt going on his abortion argument and why you shouldn't fear death because it's ridiculousness. Because we just come back. The monk burned to die, but he went nowhere. You can't talk about this, Kurt. No one believes you. It's fine. I'm just telling you where the energy that is neither created nor destroyed by the law, by like the first law of thermodynamics equals MC squared by Albert Einstein. Time is illusion because light doesn't experience it we are mass therefore we are energy energy is neither created nor destroyed you weren't created and you won't be destroyed it's like the most and einstein was there obviously it's like the easiest place to get to buddhists get there hindus get there everyone gets there but it's just the taboo against knowing who you are. Alan Watts said it best. You aren't allowed to know this, but I've just told you what you aren't allowed to know. If you believe me, um, they're going to be afraid that you won't be afraid of keeping your ego alive and you won't work really hard to make this ego special because all egos are special. It doesn't really matter what they write down about them. Um, anyway, that's my religious rant for the day. Uh, back to abortion and the argument that you can use against people that are pro-life and pro-trans, um, well, trans men exist, right? And some of them are gay. Lots of them are gay. They really like dick. So, um, if they get pregnant, they can't be on testosterone. Is they're going to be really gender dysphoric and sad, especially if their partner leaves them for whatever reason, and they can't get an abortion because you've made that illegal, they're just going to shoot themselves in the head. So, your pro-life argument loses too. Congratulations on that wonderful, the wonderful thing that you've just done to save all of humanity. Um. Anyway, that's my thoughts on abortion. My trump card to ruin the patriarchy is thus. Um, you just don't give people gender roles at birth. I've gone over this multiple times. Now I'm explaining how it helps you, feminist, even if you're a turf. The patriarchy is a creation due to um, the cre It's a part of gender roles, namely a part of male gender roles, and this subservience is a part of female gender roles. Well, dominance, male. Female, subservient, nice. Don't talk, don't say what you want to say. Say what your man wants you to say. Suck my dick, bitch. Um, anyway. If you get rid of gender roles, gender roles are created. They're survival mechanisms that we add to our ego and very much what we base our ego around in the United States, less so now, but across the world, it, most of the ego is defined by gender roles. And the ego is a survival mechanism that we use in order to create this body. I mean, keep this body alive as long as possible and in order to reproduce. And that's why gender is such a big role in this because we reproduce with our genitalia. And um, trans people think they have the other genitalia. So their survival mechanism is the flip of what you think it would be. But then some people don't really... F but anyway, the gender roles are defined by the parents because the doctors put on the kids these boxes, right? These labels. And then the parents put the boxes on the kids based on the label that the doctor has given them and their inherent fears. So, like, if a mom got bullied in school, they'll have a fear that they'll, their kid, like their daughter, is going to go through the same thing. So they're going to try to mold this child's ego so that the child is popular versus not. If a father was picked on as a kid, he's going to pick on his own kid so that his other kid, so that his kid knows how to stick up for himself. 
you know, like different things like that. So the parents survival mechanisms that they have ingrained in them from their parents then get thrust onto these children in the same exact way. And it's just a cycle. It just continues. And that's why these gender roles are defined because they're survival fear mechanisms that we use in order to be able to reproduce as the gender or the genitalia that we are. Okay, so it's just a survival mechanism. That's all it is. If you get rid of labeling the doctor, putting the label on the kid, then the survival mechanisms are still going to be ingrained from the parents. And if you have shitty parents, you're still going to get shitty survival mechanisms. But the patriarchy survival mechanisms won't be able to exist anymore because what part of the patriarchy are you they can't put the fear of the patriarchy on you they can't imbue you with that nonsense so it's not going to go away anytime soon if you just get rid of gender roles on babies it's not going to go away like in a day like the patriarchy but i'm telling you just from a from a paradigm shift perspective the patriarchy can't survive long under this new paradigm it will die because you aren't going to have the indoctrination of kids anymore. It won't be able to happen um, with patriarchy, at least, because that's indoctrination via these labels. So if you want to play chess and win against the patriarchy, you aren't going to win handling pawns and protecting your pawns. You're going to win by checkmating and how you checkmate is you make it logically impossible for the patriarchy to exist. You don't just continue like, I'm going to fight the patriarchy. No. You just make it so the patriarchy can't exist in people's minds as a philosophical concept based on how you're structuring your society. And how do you do that? You get rid of gender roles at birth. I'm telling you. If you it, it, This is just me putting it like in a perspective where I can get more people on my side because really I just want it for trans folks because you drive us fucking crazy. Um, it's literally gaslighting us out of our existence and it drives me fucking insane. I'm a strict determinist, so I was always going to be a trans man at this point in my life, so I was gaslit out of it uh, the entire other portion of my life because um, I was also a trans man then in my in my mind I can tell you because I used to be a compulsive liar um I'm now a trans man I'm a compulsive truther I don't I think people believed me more when I was a compulsive liar because I was telling them what they wanted to hear and now that I'm telling them like that their entire perspective on the world is fucked um and I tell you this because I love you I don't tell you this because like I think you're fucked I'm just saying that you could get a better perspective in order to be less fucked and I think it would really help you too is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that you're like stuck in this pit and you weren't the one who put you in it. It was your parents, but it wasn't them either. It was their parents' parents and it wasn't them either. It was their parents' 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 parents up until we get to monkeys. And now we can like get out of that. We can see that chain is what I'm trying to say and we're just going to jump out of it. And it's going to happen with a paradigm shift. It's the only way that it can happen. And I want this for trans people because if you stop labeling babies with gender markers, then I wouldn't have been gaslit out of my existence. I probably would have been asked what puberty I wanted to get. I would have said the right one. And I wouldn't have been a uh, drug addict for a very long time. It wasn't a drug addict. It was just cannabis and alcohol. But... Still, it's not like I was doing heroin. I still like Kurt Cobain, though. Anyway, this is how you would break the patriarchy. Uh, from, a, from a paradigm shift perspective over time. You aren't going to win by fighting it. It's just going to...